Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to creatively use Roblox shadows with Divi. So let's take a look at the final design we'll be working on today. So this is the final design we're working towards. So as you can see, this is very creative. So I'll be showing you step by step how we managed to create this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by customizing our header format. So I'm going to come over here to Divi, click on Theme Customizer. And then we're going to come over here to Header Navigation, Header Format. And then we're going to choose Centered. So by default, it's set on default. So we just need to, use, to choose Centered. Next, we need to go to the primary menu bar. So I'm going to come over here, click on primary menu bar, and then we're going to click on hide logo image. And then for the menu height, we're going to set this to 211. For the logo max height, we're going to set this to 30. And then over here on the text size, we're going to just bump this down a little bit to about 16. Next, uh, for our letter spacing, we're going to set this to 2 like that. And then for our font, we're going to use later light. Okay, so I'm going to select it here. And then we need to make sure for the font style, it's set to uppercase. Next, for the text color, make sure this is set to white. And for the active link color, again, this needs to be set to white. So here for our background color, we want this to be transparent. So I'm going to click here to add my color. And our RGBA value is 255255255. Zero. So that's the, the, the value for transparency. Okay, so with all that set, let's go ahead now and save and publish. Now we need to close out of this and add a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on, click on add new. So I'm just going to call my page RBX. Now you can choose whatever name you need for your page. It doesn't really matter. And then next, click on use the Divi Builder and then click Use Visual Builder. So what we're going to do now is to start off by adding a background color. So we're going to come over here to our section settings, click on background, but this time we need, we need this to be a gradient uh, background. So we're going to click the second tab, click the plus button to start adding our colors, and I am going to add my first color. So I'm going to click here, paste my color like that, click my second color, I'm going to paste it in here. Right, making sure your gradient type is linear. Let's come over here to our gradient direction and make sure this is set to 110. Like that. And then for our start position, it's fine at 0% and our end position is at 100%. Next, let's add some custom padding. So I'm going to come over here to my design tab, click on spacing. So for our padding top, we're going to add 100. And for the padding bottom, we're going to add 200. So that's all we need to do for now. So next, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then we're going to add a single column. So I'm going to click this plus button here, add our single column. So before I add my modules, I'm just going to close this. And let's add the background to our row. So I'm going to click this row settings uh, icon to get into my uh, settings. Click on background. And again, this is going to be a linear color so i'm going to click my second tab click the plus button and i need to add my first color so here we're going to add a transparent color so i'm just going to drag this uh, down a bit so i can get into the transparency mode and then i'm going to add my value within the brackets like that so i'm going to paste it so you can see here this is transparent let's go ahead now and click our second color so i'm going to click my second tab paste my color now this time for the gradient type, we're going to set this to radial and the direction needs to be center. And then for the start position, we're going to set this to 56% and the end position is fine at 100%. Next, we need to come over here and add some gradients to our column background. So again, I'm going to click the second tab to access our gradient and I'm going to click this plus button add my first color. Now my first color here is going to be transparent. So I'm going to add my values within the brackets like that. Click on my second color. This is going to be transparent as well. Paste my value in here. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down. So here we need a linear gradient. 
so it's fine as it is and then the rest of these settings are fine so here the column direction is 180 our start position is zero and our end position is 100 so this is perfect now let's go and adjust the sizing so we're going to come over here to the design tab click on sizing we need to use custom width so i'm going to activate it here and we are going to set this to let's say 27 percent perfect next we need to set our spacing so we're going to come over here and add some padding so we're going to add padding, uh, 20 pixel padding to the top, right, bottom, and left, just to uh, give this a bit of uh, breathing space. Okay, so let's go ahead and save, and now it's time to add our text module. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, and I'm gonna search for my text module, like that, select it. I'm gonna paste my text in here, and then we're gonna come over here to the design tab, click on text, and uh, let's customize our text. So here we're going to start off with our font. So here we need to choose Arvo. Now the good thing here is I can actually search for it. So here it is. I'm going to select it. We're going to set the size to 98. So right now the color doesn't work because it's competing with the background. So let's change this color to white. So I'm going to select white. And then next, let's give this some letter spacing of, say, 32 pixels. And then line height at 1.4. Like that. And then finally, for the text orientation here, let's center it. Like that. And then finally, all you have to do here is to center this. So I'm going to click center. And now our design is centered. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And then we need to add a brand new section. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add our section. So this is going to be a regular section with two rows. So over here on the right, we're going to start by adding our text module. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for my text module, select it. So my text here is going to be, you know, you can add any text you want, but I'm just going to add convincing title here. Save this, um, duplicate this. Go into my settings. Now here, I'm going to add my lorem text. I'm going to paste it in here like that. And then I'm going to save. Next, let's add a gradient to our section. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to click on the second tab, click the plus button, add my first color. So here it's going to be an RGBA value. So I am going to replace what we have here in between the brackets with my new values like that. Click on my second color, paste it in here. Next, we need to make sure our gradient type is set to linear. And then for our direction, 180 is fine. And then our start position needs to be set at 80 degrees and our end position to 80. Next, we're gonna come over here to design, spacing, and we are going to add a padding of 100 to the bottom, like that. If you want to follow this step by step, I will leave a link in the comments below so you can use the exact same settings as I am doing in this tutorial. Okay, so now that we have this done, let's go ahead now and save. So what I'm going to do next is to add a background color to our row. So I'm going to click this row settings icon, click on background, and I'm going to add my background color like that. Next, we are going to add some colors to our columns as well. So I'm going to come over here and click the second tab because this is going to be a gradient. Click the plus button, add my first color in here. Click the second item to add my second color. I'm going to paste my second color in here. Right, so for our gradient type is finite linear. And then here for our direction, I'm going to set this to 136. And for our column one start, we're going to set this to 23. Okay, so that's all we need to do for column one background. For our column two background color, this time it's going to be a solid color. So I'm going to click my plus button and just add my gray background here. Next, we are going to come over here into the design tab, click on sizing, and we are going to use custom width for this. And then we're going to change this to percentage and leave it at 80%. And then we're going to come over here to gutter width and we're going to set this to one. Now, by setting our gutter width to one, we are pretty much making these columns not leave any space between them. 
Right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add zeros to our custom padding. So I'm going to start off with the top, right, bottom, and left. And then here for our custom margin, I'm going to set this to minus 150, like that. So you can see here by adding negative margin, this has moved our row up into this area here. Next, for our column 1 padding, we are going to add 235 to our top and 235 to the bottom. For column 2, this is going to be 150 to the top and 150 to the bottom. So as I'm entering this information here, you can see over here that uh, we are adding space right here on the top to improve our design. So let me go ahead now and add 150 to the bottom, like that. Next, we're going to come over here to the box shadow, click our second one, our preset, and then for the horizontal position, we're going to set this to minus 3. So you can see here as I'm entering my my value, we have now introduced our shadow. For the vertical position, I'm going to set this to minus 18. For the blur strength, I'm going to set this to 77 because it was a bit too harsh. Next, for the spread, we're going to set this to 23. And then we're going to add our color. So I'm going to click here and add my color. Right, so now let's go ahead and save. Now it's time to go into our text modules and make some customization. So I'm going to start off with my top module. So I'm going to click the uh, settings icon. I'm going to click here to go into design text. And my font here is going to be Arvo. And my text size is going to be 34. So I'm just going to set it manually like that. Next, I'm going to add my text color, paste it in here. And then for my text orientation, I'm going to make sure that it's centered. Right, so let's go ahead and save. And then I'm going to come over here to the second text and module. So I'm going to click on my settings icon, click on design, text. And this time we're going to change this to Leto. And then all the way down here for my text orientation, I'm going to make sure that it's centered so that it matches with what I've done here with the title. Right, so what we're going to do next, we can see here that um, this width is way too big, so let's adjust that. So I'm going to come over here to sizing, and for the width, we're going to set this to about 75, like that, and then we're going to make sure that it's centered. So now it's looking much better because we have some breathing space, and this just makes our design look much, much better. Next, I'm going to come over here to spacing and add a top margin of 50 because right now our text is very, very close to our title here. So I'm going to add 50 just to add some breathing space and now it looks much better. Okay, so for now I'm going to go ahead and save and then we need to add another row with two columns in it. So I'm going to click this plus button, add my two columns. Now let's give this row its background color. So I'm going to close this for now, come into my row settings. Click on background and I'm going to give this a solid background color. I'm going to paste it in here like that. We're going to go to column one background color and add a color as well. Paste it in here. Next, I'm going to come over here to my design tab. Click on sizing. And then for the use gutter width, we're going to set this to yes and we're going to set this to one. Next, let's go over here to spacing and add our custom padding. And as we did before, we're going to make sure that there's no spaces around, spaces around this. So I'm going to add a zero to the top, right, bottom, and left. So for column one padding, I'm going to add 150 to the top and 50 to the bottom, like that. For our column two, we're going to add 150 to the top and 150 to the bottom, like that. Now let's go to the box shadow and click uh, this uh, preset here. And for our horizontal position, we're gonna add a minus four, similar to what we did here at the top. For our vertical position, we're gonna add 24. For our blur strength, this is gonna be 77. And for our box shadow uh, spread strength, we're going to set this to 23 and our color is fine as the default. So to complete our design, it's time now to start adding our image module. So I'm going to save this for now and then come over here, click the plus button, add my image module, 
that click upload and then I'm going to search for my image and it's right here I'm gonna select it click upload an image and now we can see our image is, is now in this column next I'm gonna come over here click on design click on spacing so making sure that show space below image is, is set to yes we are going to add a negative margin of minus 500 like that so now you can see our image has moved now into this space which is really cool okay right so here on the right margin we're gonna set this to minus 50 like that and for our left margin we're gonna set this to 200 like that next we're gonna come over here to the box shadow choose this preset we're gonna set this to 2 for the uh, horizontal 2 for the vertical so here, the blur strength, let's set that to zero, and the uh, shadow spread strength, we're gonna set that to 30. So now we can see we have this border right here. So the color here also needs to be changed, so I'm gonna come over here, click the select color, and since this is gonna be a transparency, a, tra a color with transparency, I'm gonna paste my value between the brackets. So now this is coming to life. Right, so I'm going to save, and now it's time to add our second image. So instead of entering all these uh, values that I've done, I'm just going to make my life easier by duplicating this and then adding my values. So here I've got this duplicated. Now, it's a bit tricky here to choose. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to expand settings, click on my wireframe view, and then I can select it right here. So I'm going to click this gear icon to access my, my settings. And then I can just turn back to my desktop view. Okay, so with that selected now, I'm just going to change my image. So I'm going to come over here, click on Upload, select my image, click Upload Image. Now, if you don't have your image in your media library, what you need to do is to navigate to the place where you saved all your images on your computer. Okay, so now with that selected, I'm going to come over here to Design, click on Spacing. So here, instead of having minus 500, I'm going to set it to minus 50. So now we can see this image below here. And then here, I'm going to set it to 100. Our bottom is going to be 30. And then for the left, it's going to be 100. And then all we have to do now is to change the color here on the box shadow. So I'm going to select box shadow, click my shadow color, and I'm going to paste my color for this module. So I'm going to paste it in here, like that. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, so finally, we need to add some text in this column. So what I'm gonna to do to save myself time is again to clone these uh, text modules that we have here on the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my wireframe view, and then I'm just gonna just clone that, drag it into position like that. Do it for the bottom one, drag it into position. Click on the gear icon because um, in fact, let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come over here to my desktop view. So we can see here that our color on this dark background does not really stand out. So we need to change this to make it white. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on text. I'm going to come over here to my text color and change this to white. Click on save. Do the same for the next one. Click on design, click on text. And then for our text color here, I'm going to change this to white and then save. Perfect, so this is our final design. All I have to do now is to save and then exit the Visual Builder like that. And this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching. And see you soon.